Is there security here? The, day <laughs> the daycare protesters are here again today. <laughs> We're all in trouble. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's certainly good to see a great turnout here. I certainly appreciate it. And it's days like today, uh, believe me, that you love this job, and, and it's certainly good to be here with a very special person. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Premier Marshall and the entire province, it is my personal privilege and honor to welcome home Newfoundland and Labrador's Olympic sweetheart, silver medalist, Caitlin Osmond. Okay. There's an old saying that says, you have to know where you, co where you come from in order to know where you're going. In your case, Caitlin, we know that no matter where you are living, partic participating or competing, your Newfoundland and Labrador roots holds a special place in our heart. It is wonderful to see you back home today. This past February in Sochi, you showed our province, the country, and the entire world that you are one of the best in the sport of figure skating. We are very, very proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, Caitlin's road to the Olympics began when she was two years old and put on her first pair of figure skates. She moved to Alberta when she was 10 and joined the Ice Palace Skating Club, which she currently represents. In 2007, Caitlin won a bronze medal for Newfoundland and Labrador in the 2007 Canada Winter Games in the Yukon. In the 2012-2013 season, Ms. Osmond won her first international title at the 2012 Nebelhorn Trophy competition. She then made her senior Grand Prix debut at the 2012 Skate Canada event, which she captured the gold medal. She went on to win her first senior national title at the 2013 Senior Women's Canadian Figure Skating Championships and placed eighth in the World Championships. Eighth in the world, not bad, eh? Wow. And then there was Sochi, Russia. Newfoundlanders and Labradorians everywhere, young and old alike, tuned in for Caitlin's outstanding performance at this year's Olympics. Whether it was a smart board in a classroom or a living room with everyone huddled around the TV, we all held our breaths collectively each time she performed. I'm certain cheers could be heard all across our province when she won a silver medal in the team figure skating competition. And we were also exceptionally proud of her performance in the women's long program. Her perseverance and passion are truly inspirational and she demonstrated these qualities well during her journey to the Olympics, as well as her time there. There are many characteristics associated with being an elite athlete, and Caitlin, you personify each and every one of them. As I have said many times, aside from her athletic ability, you, you have exhibited professionalism and strength of character that are second to none. This incredible journey is a wonderful example of how dedication, commitment, and a passion for a sport have helped you attain the ultimate in sport achievement, competing and succeeding at the Olympics. Our government is exceptionally proud of your outstanding accomplishments. I can think of no better role model than you to encourage the young people of our province to always put their best efforts forward and follow their dreams. You are indeed a shining example of how hard work and commitment help us succeed, no matter what road we choose to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm round of applause in celebration of Caitlin and her success.
And of course, at this time, the star from Newfoundland and Labrador, originally, I'd like for you to come forward and say a few words. This is absolutely great to see. Uh, it's my first time coming back to Newfoundland since, well, since the Olympic Games. And after everything that's happened since the last time I was here in September, it's unbelievable to notice everything that's happened. And it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for all the support that I was getting from here. Um, this year, it, it, it was hard. I think I went through every single down moment in a figure skater's career. Um, <laughs> it definitely wasn't an easy year, but when I was back here in September to visit Marystown and to visit Newfoundland, it brought into so much perspective how much support I'm getting and how much I want to represent this province and this country so well. And that really helped me throughout everything this year. And it, it brought me a silver medal, so I, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> so I just, I just want to thank everyone. Uh, none of this would have been possible. I started when I was two years old, and ever since I started, this province has been supporting me the most, and it's been really rewarding for me to represent here and to be able to show that even from here, even from a small province, uh, a lot of people can come out of it and, and make world stages and Olympic stages. So uh, I thank everyone for that. Well, thank you, Caitlin. Now I invite my fellow colleague to say a few words, the Honorable Clyde Jackman, and I can honestly say, I would say he's probably her biggest fan because he, he wouldn't shut up talking about her at all. <laughs> Clyde, please. Thank you, Minister French. Uh, when we came in to meet Caitlin, Minister French said, my God, I thought you were going to be a lot taller than that. And she said, well, usually when you see me, I'm four inches higher because of my skates. I have been, uh, I, I'm extremely, pleased to see so many people turn out, out for this. I know that uh, this young lady has uh, done a lot for the, the, this province and for, for the people of this province. People have followed her extremely well. You can't see what I can see. I'm looking at these young kids, and while Terry French is here speaking and I'm speaking, they're not looking at us. <laughs> they're looking at her. They're looking at her. I want to tell you this little story. I was over on the Port of Port Peninsula during the Olympics, and I went into this school, and this grade two class, they were doing activities around the Olympics. So I went down to this one little girl, and I took this out, and I flicked up a picture of Caitlin, because I had met her in August in Marystown, and I had a picture. So when I flicked it, I showed her, and she said, you know Caitlin Osman? <laughs> That's the type of thing that's happened in this province because of this young lady. I've said on many occasions, there's more things that have happened with her story in this province than her medal and her performances at these Olympics. <clears throat> it's, uh, I know for one thing for sure, I can tell you, it's brought the town of Marystown very close. We've got a number of people here. I know that in the audience the mayor is here and there's a, a number of councillors who are here. It's done wonders for the, uh, for the town and for the province. And uh, I know uh, you're not here to listen to me. I know some of you people just want to meet her. Uh, so all I've got to say is we, she's got a very busy weekend. There's a weekend planned for her in Marystown. I'm going to be at those events. And I again thank you, Minister French, for pulling this together. And I thank all of you for coming out. Thanks very much. Thank you, Minister Jackman. And before we conclude, I'll ask Minister Jackman to come forward once again and help me present Caitlin with a token of sincere appreciation on behalf of Premier Marshall and certainly the people in Newfoundland and Labrador.
Once again, I'd like to thank Caitlin for joining us today. I'm certain that this is just one of the many events that will be held in the coming years to honor this young lady's accomplishments. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for being here today for this very, very special celebration. We are truly honored to have had the opportunity to meet Caitlin and have her spend some time with us while she's in the province. Before I conclude, I wanted to draw your attention to a table to my right, way over there, <laughs> uh, which has some signed photos of Caitlin and some Skate Canada pins. You're certainly more than welcome to have some. Uh, please feel free to visit the table and, and take one. Caitlin and her family are heading to Marystown today where she will be celebrated over the next few days and I'm sure the people of Marystown will show her quite a time. So, so thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate the turnout. It's certainly good to see Newfoundlanders and Labradorians coming, coming together to celebrate one of our own. So thank you very much.